Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. In this session, we are going to discuss all ISRO previous year questions from this topic functional dependency in DBMS subject. Let's start with this question. This is ISRO 2014 question. Let X, Y, Z, A, B, C be the attributes of entity set E. If these are the super keys, then which of the following are the candidate keys? Okay, so first of all, let me tell you that this X, Y, Z, A, B, C, these are the attributes of entity set E. What this entity set means, what this entity set, what this means, this simply means relation or table. Okay, this simply means relation or table. Okay, let me tell you one thing that in the ER model, entity relationship model. Okay, so in this ER model, this term we use in this ER model, we use this word. Okay, we use this word entity. Also, we use this word entity set. Don't worry. When we study ER model, then you will understand that in this ER model, we use these concepts entity, entity set. Okay. In the relational model, what we use in the relational model, what are the corresponding concepts in the relational model in the RDBMS? Okay. So you can easily see that in the ER model, we use this word entity. And for this entity in the relational model, we have the word row, row or record. Okay, you can call that every tuple, basically every tuple. Okay, every tuple of relational model is called entity in the ER model. Okay, in the relational model, our tuples, every record is basically in the ER model that is called entity. Okay, and similarly, in relational model, what we call table or relation. Okay, what we call table or relation that is entity set in the ER model. Okay, very simple. So these are the comparisons in the relational model. We use this word relation or table and in the ER model for this relation or table, we use the word entity set. Okay. Anyway, now very easily that very easy point that entity set E that simply means you have a relation or table E. Okay. Now the question is that you have these attributes in this table E and question is saying that if these are super keys, then which of the following are candidate keys? Now, what is candidate key? Candidate key is minimal super key, right? Yes or no? What is a candidate key that you already know? That candidate key, that is a minimal super key. Minimal super key. Okay. Now, you can easily see, just notice here. Tell me, if these two are the super keys, then can this be candidate key? Look at this. Okay. Look at this X. Look at X, Y. These are the super keys. Now you tell me if this is super key and this is also super key, then can I say this is candidate key? Can I say this is candidate key? This is not a candidate key, right? Yes or no? Definitely this is not a candidate key because you can see X is super key. Okay. And this X, Y, this is also super key. This is not a candidate key because this is not minimal because I can remove this Y after removing this Y, I'm again getting super key. So I can say this is not minimal super key. I can say this is a not minimal. This is not minimal super key or I can say this is not candidate key. Okay. And you can see these are the attributes X, Y, Z, A, B, C. These are the attributes. So definitely this is minimal. This is super key. The question is saying that this is a super key. This is a super key. And because this is a single attribute. So this is minimal also. Yes or no. Correct. Okay. So I can say this is your minimal super key. So definitely this is a candidate key. Okay. Definitely I can say that this is our one of the candidate key is this. Okay. What about the next? For example, A, B, A, B, C. These are super keys. Then this is definitely not a candidate key. Yes or no? I agree. Okay. This is definitely not a candidate key. I can say this is not a candidate key. Why? Because you can easily see A, B. A, B is also super key. A, B, C is also super key. Okay. So this is not minimal. This is not minimal because I can remove this C. Again, I will get a super key. So that is the reason I can say this is not a candidate key. Okay. And you can easily see that this will become a candidate key because this is minimal. So this will become a candidate key because this is a minimal. You can see this is minimal. Okay. Here. Okay. You cannot remove a, you cannot remove B. So this is again minimal. So this is again candidate key. Okay. What about this X, Y, Z? This is not a candidate key because I can remove Y, Z. Yes or no? I can remove Y, Z again. I will get a super key. So again, this is not minimal. So this is also not candidate key. Okay. Is this clear? So finally answer will be that X, A, B. These are the candidate keys. Answer will be option B. 
ओके इज दिस क्लियर वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन लेट्स सॉल्व दिस इसरो ट्वेंटी इलेवन क्वेश्चन सिमिलर क्वेश्चन हैज कम इन इसरो टू थाउजेंड सेवन ओके सो दीज आर टू इसरो क्वेश्चन यू कैन इजिली सी इसरो ट्वेंटी इलेवन क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर आस्किंग आर्म स्ट्रॉन्ग इन्फ्लुएंस रूल्स फॉर फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसीज वॉट आर द आर्म स्ट्रॉन्ग इन्फ्लुएंस रूल्स फॉर फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी इन दिस इसरो टू थाउजेंड सेवन क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो वी आर आस्किंग आर्म स्ट्रॉन्ग इन्फ्लुएंस रूल ओके सो बोथ द क्वेश्चन आर बेसिकली सिमिलर now for functional dependence is what are the armstrong inference rule there are three armstrong inference rule we have already seen yes or no you can easily see these are the armstrong inference rules okay these are the inference rules for functional dependencies so there are three rules okay armstrong has given total three rules for fds okay total three rules for fds this armstrong has given okay and these are the basic rules let me tell you these three are the basic rules and from these rules using these rules we can derive many other rules okay you can create many other rules with the help of these rules so these are the basic rules these are the fundamental or basic rules okay so these three rules were given by armstrong for functional dependencies one was reflexivity another was augmentation another was transitivity reflexivity this is same as trivial fd okay what what reflexivity what this rule says this rule says that if y is subset of x then x determines y this is the definition of trivial fd we already know next what is augmentation rule augmentation augmentation rule says that if x determines y then on both sides you can put same set of attributes means if x determines y then xz will determine yz this is called augmentation rule similarly transitivity rule this says if x determines y y determines z then x determines z okay so very simple this is transitivity rule okay so these three rules were given by armstrong for functional dependencies reflexivity augmentation transitivity okay now what is the answer for this isro 2011 question in functional dependencies armstrong inference rules what are the armstrong inference rules these are reflexivity augmentation and transitivity so the answer will be option b okay very simple what about this question armstrong inference rule does not determine you can see does not determine so actually it should be does not determine or you can say it does not contain okay so you can easily see that it does not contain this mutual dependency because armstrong inference rule ref, uh, for reflexivity is there augmentation is there transitivity is there okay you already know that these are the three armstrong rule reflexivity augmentation transitivity okay so that is the reason remember for this question the question is saying does not determine so the answer will be option d okay because these three are armstrong rule armstrong's basic rules for fds okay so for this question answer will be option d and for this question answer will be option b okay let's move on now let's solve this isro 2018 question consider the following table in relational database this table is given to us according to the data shown in the table which of the following could be a candidate key the question is asking could be a candidate key not definitely but we are saying that could be a candidate key means if i give you this data from this table according to the data that is shown in this table what can you say which of the following could be a candidate key okay one thing if i give you some data in the table then tell me how you will find which could be a candidate key could be we are not saying guarantee we are saying which of the following is possible to be, to be a candidate key one thing you can notice if some if some attribute is repeating then can it be a candidate key tell me if some attribute is repeating for example i give you a table a instance i give you let's assume you have some instance of relation r okay i give you instance of relation r okay for example let's assume this is your relation r in this these are the attributes a b c d okay a b c d now you tell me one thing one thing i want to ask if data is repeating in this in this column for example let's assume 20 and here also 20 something 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 now you tell me if data is repeating in this column a then definitely what i can say 
देन डेफिनेटली ए कैन नॉट बी कैंडिडेट की ये सो नो ए कैन नेवर बी कैंडिडेट की एग्री विद मी आई कैन से दैट ए कैन नेवर बी कैंडिडेट की एग्री विद मी ये सो नो ओके बिकॉज इफ इफ ए इज कैंडिडेट की देन इन दिस कॉलम ऑफ ए द डेटा कैन नेवर रिपीट द वैल्यू कैन नेवर रिपीट ओके सो इफ द वैल्यू इज रिपीटिंग देन डेफिनेटली आई कैन से दैट ए कैन नेवर बी कैंडिडेट की सिमिलरली सिमिलरली यू टेल मी फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके फॉर दिस बी सी लेट्स जूम for this bc also let's assume 25 25 now you can see for this bc this data is repeating okay look at this look at this okay this this data is repeating for bc okay for this bc this data is repeating so again what i can say again what i can say i can say this bc okay or i can say this this set of two attributes this set of two attributes bc okay these two things are same these two things are same Again, this can never be candid key. Yes or no? Again, this cannot be candid key. So very simple point that if the data is repeating, then definitely that column is not a candid key. Similarly, for this combination, if this data is repeating twenty five twenty five, okay, then you can see that this is also not a candid key. Okay, very simple point. Now let's solve this question. What about this last name? Is it possible this is a candid key? Is it possible this is a candidate key? This is not possible because you can see this value Smith is repeating. Look at this value Smith. Okay, for this column, this value is repeating. So definitely this can not be candidate key. Definitely this can not be a candidate key. Okay, what about room? What about this column room? Again this value is repeating. Yes or no? Again for this room, again this value is repeating. So again I can say this can not be a candidate key. okay correct now what about this shift what about this shift again you can notice that this value is repeating morning morning for this column this value morning morning this is repeating so again this can not be a candidate key okay what about room comma shift this combination room comma shift this set of two attributes tell me what about this one room comma shift okay this combination look at this combination is there any value that is repeating see this is different from this this is different from this this is different from this all these four are different right yes or no look at all these four they are different okay they are different you can see okay look at the combination look at the combination of room comma shift so you can see this tuple this combination this combination all these four combinations they are different so i can say this this may or may not be a candidate key i can say this could be a candidate key yes or no i can say this could be a candidate key can i say for guarantee if you give me table of data then from the given table of data can i give a guarantee that it is a candidate key i cannot give guarantee but i can say this might be possible to be a candidate key there is a possibility that this is a candidate key okay there is a possibility that it is a candidate key is this clear so that is the reason question is asking question is asking which could be a candidate key okay so finally i can say that answer will be option d because option d can be a candidate key there is a possibility that option d can be a candidate key but these two these options they can never be candidate key okay so for this question answer will be option d let's solve this isro 2009 question purpose of foreign key in the table is to ensure which integrity so purpose of foreign key that is to that is to ensure referential integrity yes or no what it means what referential integrity means see referential integrity means that that it means that in this column in this foreign key column every value must come from this column yes or no for example notice if this is your foreign key then and let's assume this is referring to this primary key then every value that will come here every value that will come here that must be already present here yes or no so this is called referential integrity okay so very simple point that the purpose of foreign key what is that the purpose of foreign key that is to ensure referential integrity so for this question answer will be option b let's solve this question this is isro 2015 question if d1 d2 dn these are the domains in relational model then the relation is a table which is subset of what this is a very simple question in our lectures we have already seen this 
I told you that in the relational model, table is also called relation. Yes or no? I told you that in the relational model, the table, table is also called relation because it is a mathematical relation. Every table is actually a mathematical relation. Okay. So you already know, let me tell you, let me tell you the conclusion. So let's assume you have this relation R in the relational model. Let's assume this relation or I can say this table. Okay. Let's assume you have this table R and these are the attributes A1, A2, A3 and so on AN. Let's assume these are the attributes. Okay. Now these are the attributes and let's assume this is domain D1. This is domain D1. Let's assume this is domain D2. Okay. The domain of this attribute is D2 and so on. Let's assume this is domain DN. These are the domains. Okay. Similarly, this attribute has domain D3. Okay. Now these are the domains. Now in this situation, you can easily see if I do the cross product of these domains, then what I will get, I will get the universal relation. I told you that every relation is a subset of cross product of the domains. Yes or no? Every relation is a subset of cross product of domains of the attributes. Okay. What it means? These are, this is the table. This is the relation and these are the attributes for these attributes. These are the domains. Now, every relation is subset of cross product of domains of the attributes. What it means, if you do the cross product of these domains, D1 cross D2 cross D3 and so on cross DN. If you do this cross product, okay, then remember this cross product, this is your universal relation. Okay, when you do the cross product of domains, then basically you will get the universal relation. What universal relation means, the name itself is telling you, Universal relation means it contains all the tuples that are ever possible in this relation R. Any tuple that you can ever possibly put in this relation R that will be part of this relation. Okay. So remember, if you do the cross product of domain, you will get universal relation and it contains all tuples that are ever possible. It contains all possible, all possible tuples, all possible tuples of R. Okay. Remember all possible tuples in R. So remember this cross product contains all the tuples that are possible in R. So definitely this R will be what? Let me know if this contains all the tuples that are possible in R, then I can say that every tuple of R belongs to this. Every tuple that you can put in R that will belong to this. So I can say that R is subset of this relation. Yes or no? Easily you can see that this relation R, this will be, this will be subset of this. Okay. So very easily you can easily see. So remember every relation is a subset of cross product of domains of the attributes. Is this clear? Please tell me. Okay. Very simple. So here also the same thing you can say that relation is a table, which is subset of what this is subset of cross product of the domains. So the answer will be option B. Mm -hmm.